Hi there everybody, this is Lydia with Also Posh Actions and in this video we're going to uh, use Elements 9 and we're going to use the Bohemian Symphony Collection and try to um, clean up uh, the face, take the redness out. This is my daughter Isadora. I'm sure she's not going to mind it. So um, I did the same video for Photoshop uh, CS5 but we're going to do one for Elements. So, as you can see, her face is pretty red. It was hot outside. And I'm zooming in on the face. I'm zooming on my Mac with the option and then scrolling the mouse um, up and down to zoom in and out. Um, so, we want to start first with Goodbye Red Face. And I click. The layers, this, are, this tells us a little bit about um, what layers we have open and once we have them it will show over here. Now you can take this and you know drag it anywhere. Um, usually I have it kind of like here, that way I have the whole picture open where I can see it. What you want to do, we, I had a few questions um, that when you were running the action you got some error messages. So. You want to make sure that you have, um, see, a lot of people were using the smart brush tool. Um, what you want to use is the brush tool. And if you click here, see this one is pencil, but if you right click on this, you have all these options. And to use the actions, I mean, the, all those, you know, we can learn later on, on what to do with those. But you want to choose the brush tool. So it's B, or it's if you're anywhere else. And elements just hit B on your keyboard. Oh, why does it? Oh, B it will just go. So if I hit, keep hitting B, see it will go through all the options. So there's my brush tool. So you want to make sure that you have your brush tool. Now, how you change the opacity in Elements 9 is here. That's the opacity of your brush not the opacity of the action. The opacity of the action will be here. We'll talk about that. Um, and this is where you want to choose. This is a soft brush. See, it tells you. If you just let your mouse over there, it tells you. That's a hard one. You want to just choose a very soft one. Um, and then you can increase the size by going here. And your brush will change. So 50, if we put that, your brush will change. Or it's very easy on your keyboard to just go on your brackets and go like that, the, the bracket, one of the brackets, and then the other one will just decrease it. Key brackets. I can put something on Facebook, like a screenshot of what I mean by the brackets. It's just the keys on your keyboard. So let's start with Goodbye Red Face. You can either double click or apply. So double click on that. And there's the action doing everything. So it tells you to take out the red, uh, to take the red out, take the white brush, a white soft brush with opacity set to 80%. If you click stop, everything will disappear. So you want to make sure you click continue. Okay. So um, this, in, uh, in Photoshop Elements, things are just a little bit different than Elements. So this are all the actions, uh, this are all the layers, I'm sorry that make up the goodbye red face. So if you want to adjust just one single layer, you can either turn this one off from here, once you paint it over there, or you can highlight it and then see this one is opacity 20%, and then you can increase it or decrease it. We'll go over that. Um, and Photoshop Elements, we don't have a folder like a group folder so you can use this where it says group adjustment and this will adjust the, the opacity of the entire action so what you want to do for goodbye red face you want to start make sure you have um, your um, mask the group adjustment mask highlighted then you want to take a white brush you want to make sure this is white and if you hit D on your keyboard that usually will put it as a default. Okay, I'm getting messages, I guess. Okay, and then if you 
click X on your keyboard, it will switch between black and white. It's just some shortcuts that help me a lot. So you want to do white on black. Again, white reveals, so it will reveal everything we have here. And then black conceals. If we want to paint on those, if we have white, we will need a black brush. So we want an opacity of 80%. Have a soft brush. So we're going to start painting. Okay, see? It's taking out all the redness out of her face. Again, I make my brush bigger and smaller with uh, by go uh, clicking the bracket keys on my keyboard. And I normally hit the little backsplash right above your enter your um, enter key the enter key. It's there is a little backsplash, and that tells me where I painted. If you don't know where to find that, just email me or I'll put it again on Facebook. I put it a while back. So that tells me that on this area where it's white, I have painted or masked off everything. So now if I click that again, that will disappear. So before and after. You see how all her redness is gone. Now. I like it, but I think there's a little bit too much heel on this. So what I want to do is go to um, the layer that says add warmth. And I can either remove it, and you see how the yellow kind of just goes away. Or I can just lower the opacity. Just make sure you highlight that and adjust the opacity. Um, another one that will take the yellow out will be this layer. You can either increase it, has more yellow, or decrease it. There's no yellow. Or just turn it off. There's a lot of ways to do things in Photoshop and Photoshop Elements. So I like it a little bit of yellow, but not a lot. Uh, now if the face, if I want a little bit more light in the face, if I feel like her face is not bright enough, which hers is, is go on this layer. It's called Lighten Up. Highlight it and just increase the opacity. And look what happens to her face. I mean, that's too much light, but I'm just showing you what you can do. So you can play with this up until you feel like you have the right opacity on the face. Um, now, what I want to do here, um, her arm, the contrast between her face and her arm are just a little bit too strong. So I want to go back on my uh, layer mask, on the group layer mask, and with a brush that's maybe not 80%, but let's say a little bit like 50%, go and paint that redness off. You see what happens? So I like that because it's not such a big contrast between her arm and her face, and everything is nice and even. So. If we want to see how this how this action affected the, her face, we can just click here. So the red, and then it's gone, and it's gone. Now I would be more careful around like this areas when I actually work, and I, maybe I would reduce the opacity and just take a little bit more red from around, you know, like right next to where her hair is touching her face, just to have nice natural skin tones. I want to make sure her eyes she has those dark circles under the eye so it's before and after. Before and after. So that's how I use the goodbye red face that comes with the Bohemian Symphony Collection. Now my video is getting a little bit long so I'm going to stop the video here and I'll do another video on the same picture on how to apply the skin glow right after you're done with um, Goodbye Red Face. I hope this really helps guys. Thank you so much.